General Biology and Ecology. What are normally the last deer to change from their winter coat into their summer coat? And that is the old deer. Which male antler deer usually cast their antlers first? And the old animals cast their antlers first. They need them for dominance and display. Under what circumstances do female deer usually give birth to their young? And that would be quietly and alone in cover. The antler casting cycle is mainly governed by which hormone? And that is testosterone. For a few days after birth, young deer generally are left alone in cover by their mothers between suckling bouts. A female deer will not conceive unless she reaches a certain threshold body weight. What is the primary limiting factor of a deer's lifespan? And that would be with its teeth wearing out so it cannot feed efficiently. A buck whose antlers in season are a spongy mass of velvet, a peruke head, should be culled as it may become infected and will probably die. Why do deer ruminate? It is an essential part of their digestion. What is the preferred habitat of most species of deer in the United Kingdom? And that would be woodland margins. The effect of a rising number of deer in an area is likely to be first noticed through reduced diversity of plants at ground level and increased crop damage. How are deer wallows best described? And they are muddy and often scented with urine. Deer under normal undisturbed conditions will feed in cycles of a few hours with peaks at dawn and dusk. Deer are rarely seen to drink. This is because they get most of the water they need from their food. Scent glands in most UK deer are located between the hooves in the corner of the eye and outside hawk. Fraying is a term used to describe which activity of a male deer. And that is the rubbing of bark from trees and shrubs with antlers. What is the term used to describe the covering of a deer's growing antlers? And that is the velvet. A reasonable estimation of the age class of a deer when it has been killed can be gained from the amount of wear on its teeth. Browsing is the term which describes deer feeding on leaves and buds. Where are a deer's antlers shed and regrown from each year? And that is the pedicle. Which of the following descriptions applies to deer droppings? They are often black or dark brown, shiny when fresh, often with ends pointed or indented. After a shot, a deer hunches its back and walks slowly into cover. This is a typical reaction from an animal that has been shot in the gut. If you suspect you have wounded a deer and it has disappeared from sight, what should you do? You should wait 10 to 15 minutes before going forward to the place where the deer was standing when you shot. We do this to see if there's any hair, signs of bone, signs of blood, and we can assess from there. After the shot, the deer kicks out its hind legs and rushes into cover with neck outstretched. Traces of pink and frothy blood are found. Where has it been hit? It has been hit in the lungs. After a shot, a deer falls down and gets up almost immediately, or staggers before rushing away. Only a few drops of blood, some short hair and a long splinter of bone is found. Where has it been hit? It has been hit in the leg. And that is the end of the deer biology and ecology section.